And good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. I'm here with my make-it-yourself wife, Laura. And I'm here with my unicorn husband, Nathan. And we're here for the brand new Real Littles Micro Crafts. We sure are. We have two of the actual Real Littles Micro Craft, like, cases. Uh, and this is actually from the, the display, display box. Because they, the, they were the last ones. But we figured it's just easier just to pull this out because it's a nice little box and to sort of show you sort of what you're getting into with some of them anyway. Exactly. There's actually all different versions of these. Um, obviously, you can see the front of the containers is different. That's because there's different crafts inside. And they're not blind because they actually tell you what they are on the front. Yes. So we're going to open two of them. We got the DIY Unicorn Terrarium and the DIY Lightbox. And but believe... there was a few others. There was maybe like a painting one, I think. Yeah. And... Oh, I can't think of the others now. A lot now. of crafty things. <laughs> yes. Um, and this one's like a little snow globe you can also get um, in the packs as well. Yeah, this is just the example from the box, but you can find one that says that on the front. I think these were at least <clears throat> $17 at Kmart in Australia. I thought they were 14 14 I can't They were remember. from Kmart in Australia for somewhere between 14 and $17. Yeah, so they're not uh, cheap, cheap, they're not too expensive, but they feel quite heavy and hmm. a lot of good things to do inside. Well, we hope so. Uh, so they also show what they include. There's lots of bits and pieces. Ah! Oh, oh, here are the others. Uh, so there was fizz bomb, so like mm. some sort of bath bomb thing. Yeah, there's a canvas art painting and then the glitter globe. So there's not like a whole massive line of them if you wanted to get them all. No. So we picked the two that we thought <coughs> were most interesting to us. Yeah. All right. So let's oh, get that off. Oh, that's attached. Well, I won't get that bit off, hey? So do okay. I just sort of zip? Wait, maybe I can get the tag off. Hang on. Yeah. yeah. No. Oh no, there's tape on the side. What am I doing? <laughs> I didn't bring scissors. Well, I should just peel off with my... There we go. Alright, let me yeah. just... Uh, that's, um, that's quite a big piece of... Tape? Tape, yeah. I suppose you don't want to have these open in store, like losing parts that you need. No. You know, because then so, you wouldn't be able to complete the craft. Should we do... What have I got? The uh, light box? Because I beat you. And I've got the terrarium. Well, how about we do both at the same time? Because they might right. take us a little while to put together. So, oh my goodness. Oh, wow. Oh That's, my. Uh, okay, okay. <laughs> so I got the light box instructions. These have certainly come a long way from when they started out as Shopkins. These take batteries. Obviously, uh, it, it's a light box. Yeah, we didn't we didn't plan ahead for batteries. Um, we'll have to grab some. I hope we have some. Um, yeah, I mean, obviously, Real Littles came from the Shopkins line, but it's so far removed these days. I got the easy one. Uh, apparently, this changes colour depending on how many times you push the power button. So oh, nice. like pink and blue, purple, uh, yellow, and then I assume it cycles through and then off. Nice. And I've got a lot going on in my terrarium. All right, you do uh, that. I'm going to get some batteries. Looks like we've got some, like, glowing parts. Oh my goodness. Okay. All right. Have fun. Let's get everything out. Oh, here's my little unicorn. The camera doesn't want to show it, but it is there. In there. A uh, little like grass, our top and bottom sections. Uh, we've got a carabiner, I guess, to hook it on somewhere. Some little pellets, beads. I don't know. I don't know what all the parts are called. Uh, crafting is not really my strong suit. All right, we've got a little divider. So you could keep that container and use it's pretty solid. That yeah, one. We always wish we were better at crafts though, didn't we? I, I wish I could create things that turned out and worked. Yes, but right. but alas, <laughs> I wasn't wasn't given that skill ever or learned it. So there's my light box. Uh, I'm just going to take the oh. back off and uh, put some uh, batteries in. Better keep our my parts over here, hey? All right, so step one, we have my base. Does this come with any real lizards or frogs <clears throat> to put in there? No. Step two is, I guess, our water piece, I want to call it. Does it glow in the dark? Uh, something is. There's this... Oh, yes. So, it looks like the little pieces that are in with my unicorn and this piece will glow. It's got to be in the light for at least 30 seconds, though. All right. So, this just sits in here. So, it feels like a kind of rubbery sort Almost of Almost like an plastic. ushi sort of... It's harder. Harder oh. than an ushi. All right, step three. Hopefully I don't spill these. We've got the little like bees, pellets. Like rocks you put like a bottom of a fish tank or something. Yeah, um, it had actually had a little tear strip that came off really easy. Open? Oh yes, yeah, it did. Yeah, it did, yep. 
Okay, so these go. Like yeah, that. just in. But they all specifically go at the back, not in that middle bit where I just got some by mistake. Which is why it gives you a little, a little tweezer thing to sort of well, get them out. It's not really tweezers. It's just kind of a thing. A pokey stick. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Get the pokey, yep. Just to, to nudge them because they're not meant to be in the center. I assume something else. Sits in there. Goes in there, yeah. So then we sort of spread these out around the back. No, not back in the middle. No, no, no. Yeah, we're having Sorry, yeah, my hands. No, we no, one went back in the middle. Two went back in the middle. No. Are, are you okay, Laura? No, I'm telling you, crafts are not not my strong I'm not exactly <laughs> crafty myself. You've seen me try right. with those sewing kits, haven't you? <laughs> All right, they're at the back. Um, it, yeah, it specifically says not to have them in the middle. So then we need... Looks like a, a flocked piece. Oh, uh, yeah, so grass. that goes into the... Slot, so you definitely don't want that. Yeah, that's why you can't have the other things in there. Oh, it could be a mini golf course. So this is going on top. Interesting. And then they all kind of sit, I guess, underneath there at the bottom. Okay. Right. Let's put that aside. Next, we need to add in all our stuff, basically. How about while you're doing that, I'll um, prep our light box and we can turn the light off to see if yours glows and mine in the dark. Sure. All right, so I have four little pieces in here. Um, it does have, I'm, I'm going to kind of go with My how it shows it. My test didn't work. Oh, all of mine have been <laughs> fine. So they actually just poke into the foam, I guess. Yeah, it's a little piece of foam, so it just kind of pokes a hole in to sit in. We have some like crystals. I'm just kind of putting them in where it shows in the picture, but you could obviously put these in whatever you thought looked nicest. Um, tree, bush, something like that. And last bit in that bag is another little crystal piece. Okay. Uh, All right. Then we have trees. These are pretty nice looking trees. They're like model. Yeah, like you trees. Like a warhammer or some sort of. Yeah, if you were setting up a scene, something like that. There's quite a lot of detail, but I can see in the bag a lot of the little green bits Aww. are floating around in the bag. So do be careful, like if you're making this, you may have, you know, a little bit of mess. All right, one. They're all different too. That's pretty cool. That's a lot of effort gone into them, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, they could have easily just had like three of the same. Oh, they're kind of spiky too. So just watch your fingers when you're <laughs> when you're pushing them in. Um, also, don't accidentally lift them up. I, you probably just saw my foam lifting. They, these are uh, build and don't and like display rather yeah, than play. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Oh, see, there we go. Lifting it again by mistake. I don't want all the beads to fall where they oh, shouldn't. No, no. Okay. Next, I need the lid and the string because apparently I'm going to hang this. I'm not sure I would trust Absolutely that. Absolutely not. <laughs> I One. feel like it would open and the little bits would just be everywhere. Yeah, let me see if I can right. tweak it lid on. Yeah. That's pretty cute, isn't it? It is cute. They could have just done a whole like set of just different little terrariums, couldn't they? What was it? Hatchimals, I think, did something similar? They had like cardboard pieces you made like a little diorama inside. Yeah. Now, I'm terrible at these. Do you need some... Oh, you got through? Yeah, I got that through, but then you've got to, like, loop it, don't you? Yeah. Or something. That's it. I don't know. Not, not my thing. Here we go. I was doing that off camera. I'm so sorry. So you had to loop it through and then kind of loop it through on itself. Um, And then this just sort of Pops attaches... On. Yeah, there's two little clips on each side. Yeah. Well, one on each side. So is it a snow globe? What happens if I shake it? I don't think that would be worse. Have I got it backwards? Uh, because I think it's on an angle. No, I think you had it right the first time. Uh, okay. Because they're both sloping the same way. It's a quite there a tight go. fit and it kind of clicks in. Because again, you wouldn't want that coming off, especially if you're going to be hanging it up. Right. There's the little terrarium. I suppose you could just hang it in general, or you could be you nice know, tr hang Christmas it on like a ornament. Christmas tree. Yep, not that it's Christmas time at the moment, but um, it feels pretty sturdy. It feels like, and um, you know, unless you were doing something silly with it, it probably would stay together for you to hang but it up. But not for younger kids, I don't think. No. Um, just lastly, the little like carabiner clip, I think that's what they're called, mm -hmm. um, is for the case. So my light box is a lot easier. Put three batteries in. 
I uh, pushed out, so the letters come on these like little uh, sort of semi-hard plastic. Um, I found they pushed out fairly easily, but there was quite a bit of um, extra bit of plastic on each side, so I also had to trim a little bit so it actually slide in. But apart from that, it gives you quite a few like letters. I'd say, I'm not quite sure you'd get two of every letter, mm. but you'd probably get two of all like the, the primary letters. Well, there's, there's three E's there, for example, but like there's only one G. So it depends on what you want to spell, how well I guess you go so with those. So, shall we see if this works and then... Shall we turn some lights off? Hang yeah. on, we're just going to turn our studio lights off so that this looks a bit brighter, hopefully. Whoa! <laughs> cool! Oh, it definitely lights up! Hang on. The camera's just adjusting. Nice. Gee, the colours, it, it's a lot brighter than I expected it to be for, you know, like a little kind of mini craft. And then this one sort of does RGB, sort of uh, fading in between different lights. That's really nice. I actually really like these. I mean, not that I expected that I wouldn't. We actually have our own light but... box up there, which we, we change for different holidays and things. So this is pretty cool just to have a little shelf or something. A little mini and... one. Yeah. I really like that. But um, does your thing glow in the dark? Yeah, it's not fully dark in our room. The camera's just adjusting because of that. So oh, Nathan's yeah. going to get up and turn off all our other lights. And we're going to see if our terrarium glows in the dark like it's supposed to. Here Let's see. The lights are slowly going off. Kind of? I don't know. It's going pretty well. Um, so the, the like water piece is glowing really well. The camera's picking that up. Um, as for the little pieces that are meant to glow, like the crystals and the unicorn, a little bit to the eye, but I don't think the camera is picking them up. Whoa. <laughs> you got to warn people, Nathan. <laughs> oh, it's a disco. But yeah, so the actual water's glowing quite well, but the, uh, other pieces, I can see in the naked eye fairly well, but because they're a lot smaller, the camera is having trouble picking it up. I'm yeah, the, the water is the star of the show so there. You can sort the of dark. see the unicorn. Kind of, yeah. Um, all in all, though, I, I quite like these. Oh, we're finishing by message board light. <laughs> if you enjoyed watching this video, give us a thumbs up. Let us know in the comment section down below if you've tried the other ones that we didn't pick up. So the, the snow globe or like the canvas painting. And was there one other one? The bath. Like the fizz the bath fizz one. Or yeah. your own fizz bomb things. How did they go? Were they as successful as these? I still can't believe these came off, like, spun off from Shopkins. That seems like so many years ago. Yes, it does. <laughs> Hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any future videos. Sounds good. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.